welcome back to Let's Play Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. And it's time for blood, guts, and glory to fly, cause we're in the middle of a war, son! Yeah, it's time for the armies of Willendorf to go against the armies of the Nemesis. Really? All you want to do is just sort of just... Yeah, you just kind of want to make it to one end of the field and just feed whenever you can. Doesn't matter who it is. You can just have that and you're good. And just, you can have repel, or you can even have inspire hate, but then again, inspire hate would just cause your ow. Would cause your allies, well, quote unquote allies, to fight each other. And yes, be careful, there are a bunch of spikes. And all sorts of spiky things along the they battlefield. Me in throngs, no further as strong as that inspired by a madman. The nemesis armies were fierce and showed no signs of subsiding. And, yeah, it's pretty crazy, and there's King Otmar with his really weird mace. Well, let's hack, slash, and burn our way through our... Ah! Suffering to the conquered! Come on, bring it on, you nemesis scum! <laughs> Traitor? Huh? What the hell? I'm guessing there's some people in the nemesis that didn't really care. That didn't really want to do this. Oh! The nemesis and his horde fall upon us, my friend. I fear I can defend Nosgoth no longer. The Nemesis must be destroyed. For my daughter Cain. For the world. The tide turned with Otmar's death. I watched as the remaining survivors of the Armies of Hope fled to the safety of the forest. The battle had decided its victor. The fate of Nosgoth now lay in the Nemesis' hands. Yep, King Otmar is down, and holy crap, there is a lot of bloody imagery on the battlefield. And whoa! Now, there's something that I missed. I have a feeling I missed something. There's a vista marker that I can find somewhere. Just gotta make sure that I find it. Ah, there it is! Don't want to miss out on anything. And move out of the way! I sated my thirst on warriors of Horde and Hope alike. The dying relinquishing their final moments to give me strength. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just thought I'd show that off. Oh, Being stupid and not paying attention where I'm going. Help! Uh, traitor! Death to King Otmar and all that, like, ooh. Just, oh, ho, ho. And, yeah. Now, Blood Shower is pretty good here, but I'm not going to use it. Well, you know what? I'll just show why. See, look at that. Oh, better get repel going. Now... Just get to the end of the battlefield and everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Come on. Yeah, there's crap tons of them. Of the end. Of the nemesis. This is army here and I can't really speak. And oh, oh, we're right there. Let's get here. What the? What's going on? Just. Uh, it's all blood. And what the hell is going on? What just happened? Hmm. Well, Kane, do you know? Do you know what happened? If the game would load. At once the battlefield was gone. 
Where the ground was caked with blood and dirt, there was lush greenery. Where chaos reigned only moments before, this damning calm prevailed. Alas, it seemed I was stranded here. The time-streaming device lay in pieces at my feet. Uh-oh, it seems someone went through time! And, yeah, we're in this place that should be rather familiar. Used to be a lot of snow, and hello! Oi! Is that how you greet people around here? Would you stand idle as vermin destroy your crops? No! Has your house burned? No! Will you allow this evil to continue? No! Will the wickedness end? Yes! Do you believe? Yes! yes! Then take me to your king so that I can prepare you for the onslaught. Hmm. Mobius, what the hell are you up to? <sighs> and yes, with that, this opens, and also this door opens, but there's really not much to look at. It's just a save point, and I'm not even going to go here. Because really, there's no point. Just what the hell, and hey! Look at this! Basic enemies! Wow! Ah, that's what you get! And you burn. Now, just where the heck is this? Well, it should be pretty familiar, as I stated. Just a moment, and... Hey, there's people here! Where the hell are we? Well, yep. Look at where we are. We're back in this town, and it's not all filled with rather grim imagery. And yeah, that's why you don't want to bother with the save point back there, because there's a save point right here. It's kind of silly to really have two save points so close to each other, because it really doesn't have any purpose. Oy, oy, oy. Just... Yeah, that's how long I had to wait. Just before a certain time comes. Just... Whatever. Yeah, I'm just... I'm really in a... F funky mood. Let's explore stuff and smash stuff. And yeah, I don't really need to bother with items because I did actually go to the spirit forges and maxed out my supplies. Though honestly I'm a bit too conservative with my items and oh no, that guy has a plus six slash plus one base attack bonus which means he can attack twice with one attack being significantly less accurate. Well, it's in here. Load, flay, and a flay. Don't need those, cause we're pretty, cause I'm pretty much full on them. Now there's a house over there and a house over there. Not a whole lot in this town, but hey, at least all these people aren't slaughtered and staked and pinned to the walls and put in really nasty piles of bodies. And yeah, there's fonts of putrescence over there. And also, the thing is, I did actually look, when I was using the forges, I did pay attention to all save for one. Let's see, I've, and the one that I didn't use was the implode spirit forge. And essentially the amount that each spirit forge gives you, Let's see, I'm not sure what implode, how much implode gives you, but it should give you at least 5 or 10, 10 or 5. Energy bank, the energy bank one gives you 5, the flay one gives you 10. 
Let's see, which ones... What other ones do I need to mention? The fonts of putrescence? Crap. Pretty sure, if I remember off the top of my head, it's ten. Let's see. Font of putrescence. Slay. Slay! <laughs> Slay. Oh, good grief. You know what? Let's just go to the menu so I can keep the track. The Heart of Darkness. Yeah, of course, Hearts of Darkness. The Heart of Darkness one gives you two. That gives you ten. Play. Not sure about Implode. that one. The Pentelich of Tarot. That... That shrine actually gives you five cards, believe it or not, considering how powerful they are. Whoosh. Slow time. You get five of those. Font of putrescence. You get ten of those, if I recall. Energy bank. You get five. Antitoxin. And of course, you get ten of those. But really, antitoxin is almost superfluous to get at this point. It's the only item that doesn't really have much use after. After certain areas like the Dark Eden. And sound crackling. Ugh. Oi, oi, oi. And Hello? Hey, that statue! It's not built yet! What the hell? Ah. So it seemed I was in the land of William the Just. Fifty years before the battle I had just escaped would take place. Yeah, 50 years! Just don't do anything that would irreparably change the course of history, Kane. Otherwise, who knows what the hell this world would come into. <laughs> and who knows, maybe the universe will rip itself apart. I don't know. And also, yeah, there's more guys here. And the thing to note is to don't really, you shouldn't really bother with using the beguile form, as it's called, in the manual. Because there's really nothing to, because they can't be fooled by it. And yes, there's two pentelages of tarot here. Huzzah! And also, there is a house over there, but don't even bother. I went in there off screen, and there's really just some peasants there. It's really not worth going into and hello you're not gonna talk in the easier parts it's grown cold and cruel the crops are blasted the wind bites never seen a worse time in all my life oh woe is us the dark is upon us what Aye, our king is kind and fair. What fortunate citizens are we? Hey, Earl Bowen! Yeah, see, that dude? Yeah, see, they they pretty much don't have a certain tag. They don't have that certain tag that would have them be fooled by Beguile. And the original form was, in fact, Disguise. Disguise self! That's an... Alright... First level spell... If you really are... A, a mage that relies on subterfuge. And yeah, there's an energy orb here. Nothing really... Useful. And... Burn alive! Oh god. I am not... Hitting high notes! Not like I did in the 11th episode, 11th part, 11th part of Strife, oh good god! When I was reviewing that, oh my goodness, that one note that I hit was just... Oh my goodness! It was ridiculous, it was funny, but it was just like, holy hell! Oish! And what's up here? Why are we going in here? Well, there's a something up here. Yeah, there's a moon cave door. There's a moon cave here. And look at this. There is a singular flight. And great. Now, we wait. Hey, Kane, do you know the sun song? No? Crap! Why don't you know it? 
Fine, we'll just wait. Oh, yo, 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 yo. It really is. Uh, you freeze. Good thing Kane's a vampire because he would be freezing right now. And hello, what the hell? One must be wary, wary in dealing with his spirits. The wraith and shades that inhabit them offer items beyond mortal dreams in exchange for a sampling of your blood. The wraith smiths forge their items with forfeit souls. Yeah, we're back at the Pentelage of Tarot Shrine because... Yes, it counts again as another secret. That's pretty damn lazy, I find. Using the same area as a secret. Shed your blood for me, and these artifacts will be yours. So, you come to the spirit board for help, do you, vampire? Trade your secrets for the blood of the dead, I will. Uh, no thank you. I'm pretty much maxed out. And yeah, something that you should know, note, is that each of the spirit forges seem to actually have a different have a different statue for each for each one it's really interesting and it's really kind of a nice detail if I I don't know if, I don't know I can't really remember but I'm pretty sure they're they're different it's a nice attention to detail rather than just copying and pasting the same room over and over and over again ah Anyways, let's actually go here, shall we? Uh, you know, I should really equip the Incapacitate spell. That spell should do some wonders. Or stun. Stun. Let's see how stun works against these guys. Hey. Hey, dude! 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 Oh my goodness! Stun equals instant death for these guys! <laughs> oh man, the stun spell is actually pretty awesome! Much better than... Let's try Incapacitate. I honestly should really show off all some of the spells. Well, I'm pretty sure I did show off some of the spells. I did accidentally show off Incapacitate, or... Well, spirit death when I was trying to use spirit rack. <laughs> Incapacitate. Come on. Yeah, stun is way superior to incapacitate. Because really, it's just a... Because really, stun means you can easily feed off their blood. Let's try spirit death, shall we? And enter... Need to enter the spirit forge... Spirit Forge? No! <laughs> yep, that's what Spirit Death looks like. I'm just going to equip Stun there because, well, it's pretty damn useful. And I would equip Blood Shower, but that spell slows down the game so dra dra drastically. The stronghold of William the Just. It was time for me to pay a visit to he who would become the nemesis and force Nosgoth on its knees. Kane, you better not be doing what I think you're doing. Magic! Ugh, you are, aren't ya? Well, crap. This can only end well. Ugh, never mess with time. Cause you never mess with the past. Cause sometimes. Boy, you could really frickin' screw shit up. Eesh. Just, really, this is just all sorts of bad. Anyways, I shall end it here. I've been the Northern Star Dragon, and I shall see you in the next video.